Hi there, this is Ellie again. Uh, today I'm going to be making a tiny house in Solani. So I'm currently um, on the second generation of my family called the Downs family. A big drama. So basically mum's just died. So now we have the teen. She's just got herself locked up as a teen. Absolutely outrageous. So it's time for a new start. Mum's dead, baby's on the way. Not sure if we're going to keep it or not, but that's by the by. So it's just time to have, you know, a new place. I randomised her traits, and one of her traits was island person, island paradise. What's what's the one where you can summon the island spirits? So that was randomised. So I was like, okay, got to go here. We're going to start our new life. We're going to be a single mum, but we're going to make it work that's what we're gonna do but I still really like having the perks of the tiny home so this isn't a micro home like the one that they used to live in so they used to live in the micro home that I built uh, like a week two weeks ago and it was the most basic you know like the um, the micro tiny one but I still want her to get skills a lot quicker so it's still going for the tiny home, which is 64 by 64, but obviously because they're in Sulani, I wanted to have a nice balcony where she can catch a tan, you know, summon the island spirits and maybe have a carver party, you know, just live her best life. Just because she's got a baby doesn't mean it's the end of her life. <laughs> So just trying to figure out how to keep, I wanted a balcony or like a rooftop place, but obviously if you have a rooftop thing then um, that adds to the tiles and when, can't be having that. I need to have those skills going at a like, double rate or whatever. So got back in there with the roof in, which I actually really struggled to build like anything, I'll be honest. <laughs> Like, I've got so much better at it, but it's taken me a really long time to be somewhat acceptable with what I build. A lot of it's still really bad. Oh my god, I think I've just realised, I don't think I changed, the oh no, I did change the roof type, it doesn't stay too far, oh my god. So with this, I wanted it to be really modern. She is quite a cool sim, she is, her mum was a fashion, she, her mum was a fashion guru at the top of the fashion career so her mum was a bit of a tart which I love for her by the way so we have photos of her mum and photos of her granddad so her mum was married to this guy right like they were married from create a sim and then they got divorced because her aspiration was the serial romantic one and he just wasn't here for that so he went off and lived his best life and he adopted a son and she was just living her best life and she then adopted her daughter who is now this time that I'm building the house for but the mum oh my god so her and her ex-husband although they were divorced they were still in love, you know, because sometimes these things just happen. So they were carrying on a, an affair, like a relationship, but she was also having an affair with like most of the neighborhood, which good for her. She completed her lifetime goal of romancing everybody. Good for her, good for her. And then her ex-husband went and got a random townie knocked up, like, I had nothing to do with that and he just went and oh my god the drama of it all I was scandalized I was shocked I was clutching my pearls so in revenge so his adopted son is now grown up the son he adopted as a single father is now grown up so what did she go and do she went and married her ex-husband's adopted son because she was just so angry that he got this random woman prego. I mean, who does that? Outrageous. So she then marries the adopted son, doesn't even live with him, she just carries on living her best life. And then she's having an affair with some of the uh, townies. She's got a husband and a wife, you know, that she's having an affair with, which again, good for her. 
no not good for her there's a lot of people hurt but it's fine it's the sims um and yeah she was just she was having the best life and then she completed the aspiration and there, there there was a free love uh action plan in place so i don't know whether it was because she completed her aspiration as a serial romantic or if it's because the free love was in place but then she convinced one of the people she was having an affair with to leave their spouse who she was also having an affair with and then she got married to him so she had two husbands and i really don't know how that happened but i think it's really iconic of her like she is a home wrecker and good for her but she recently died so we won't speak ill of the dead <coughs> slut this was actually a great opportunity for me to use the Moschino windows I love them and I just never use them and I love that you have some of the windows that are like half open it's so cute and it's all grid gridded I was really struggling to find out the difference between these two doors, by the way. I think it's just the colour swatch, but whatever. Anyway, the Moschino stuff, the windows are just so nice. So I ended up with the back doors being, um, like, open, open doors, which I think is nice. And then I used the Moschino for the front door as well. And it just, they go together really nicely. I don't know how modern black and white is. I think around in, you know, around in the UK, a big trend is having grey windows and doors. And I just think it's the ugliest thing ever. It's so ugly. I hate the shade of grey they use. It's always disgusting. So I'm just going to stick with black and white. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, look, I updated the roof. I didn't even notice. So, so basically, if you're following this dramatic life her the, the sim who i'm building for now her grandfather was her mother's ex-husband oh yeah oh there's her little grave rest in peace you can pause that if you want to see her uh, life story that i wrote on there and we've got some photos i love having photos of the family i'm in there so i've got a picture of mum and daughter and then mum and granddad and then granddad's medical degree because I cheated him and he was a, a, a chief, of, chief of staff or whatever the top doctor doohickey is. Good for him. He, I wanted to give him a Don Lothario kind of vibe because like I feel like there's Don, Don Lothario's actual look but then there's like the spirit of Don Lothario you know so I gave him like the spirit of Don Lothario but not the personality so he raised his actually he had two adopted sons one of them married his ex-wife and then the other one is still like a teen so he's not really done anything but his brother is now raising him his widowed brother his widowed brother is now raising him oh my god i swear i never use the jungle adventure cabinets but today i did and they fit really cute they're really nice as per usual I was struggling with the floor plan. Parenthood is the only valid fridge because it's the only one that doesn't leave a gap. That's the only one I ever use because I hate there being a gap. And they saved some stuff from her old house, including some pictures, some of her granddad's doctor items, some fireworks, blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to have some of that in this house. I think that diagonal counters would have worked so well if I had more room. But the way that I decided to lay out this house kind of long rectangular, it just wasn't going to work. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles, babes. Love that shelf, by the way, with all the spatulas and spoons and stuff, but also being a shelf, iconic. We love to see it. And I wanted to give her a comfortable bed because... <laughs> In her old place, there was just one single bed between the two of them, so they had to decide, you know, who was going to use the bed when. So now she gets a nice double bed. And maybe her uh, maybe her boyfriend who, who knocked her up can come over for a nice sleepover. A nice PG sleepover. But she's, uh, I was just checking her hobbies here, 
and what I wanted her to do. So she's into video gaming and programming. So I think I'm going to put her in a technical career, uh, like either a video gaming career or um, programmer or engineer or something. So I wanted to have her computer and video games. And I just love this item from Eco Lifestyle. Look how pretty and you can add different things. I have one of the pictures from Snowy Escape just to remind her of her hometown where she came from. Because she's not there anymore because she ran away. Which honestly love that for her. Nearly forgot a sink, but so I've also given her the island living location aspiration. So I just put in a carver bowl because she's going to, need to have a carver party to get that aspiration up. So I might also have her as a conservationist, I'm not sure. I think the conservationist career is really nice. I really like island living in the um the career that you get with it and how you can kind of see the world change. But as loads of other people have said in the past, it kind of falls short. It wasn't really, it's more, I feel like it's more of a game pack in terms of how much content gameplay we got. But with regards to all the items and the size of the world, it's definitely, yeah, it, it's a valid expansion. It's a valid expansion, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely pack. I really love it. I play in this in this world a lot because I just can't get over it especially now I've got a really nice computer so I can see it in super HD 4k blah 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 I really love it and you know no one can really go on vacation or holiday at the moment you shouldn't be going on vacation or holiday at the moment so this is a nice little it's a nice way to feel like you're getting out and about of it a little bit and just adding some final touches to the outside and a little bit of landscaping I find landscaping in Solani so easy because it's just so beautiful as is there's you can't really go wrong with just adding just chucking some stuff down to be fair like you just bung it down and it looks good just adding some dirt path because you can't use tiles on the outside in Sulani on the beach. You can on the grass lots, but you can't on the beach lots. I find this so fun just to just a vibe, you know. And using the outer area that we've got on the left hand side just to figure out what kind of landscape I'm going to be doing, try to mimic it a little bit, reflect it a little bit um, and use the same plants and colour scheme that they have in that area just to tie it in and make it look a bit more, I don't want to say natural because it's a poxy video game but <laughs> to make it look more cohesive you know. The plant items we have with Island Living are just gorgeous as well, they're so good, I, lo I love Island Living. I think it's my favourite world and favourite outside items, but then my favourite buy items are Eco Lifestyle. What do you think? What's your fave? Having said that, I love Strangerville. Oh my god, it's Strange Town, Strangerville, whatever. The actual world of that, stunning. Stunning. Gameplay is fine, but I've only done it once. It's fairly predictable, but absolutely bloody beautiful. We love to see it. So we're just adding some final details now to the outside. Again, trying to make it blend in more. I'm coming to the end. I was taking my screenshots now, and then at some point I realised, oops, I didn't do the interior paint, which is super great of me oopsie but done that so we haven't actually uploaded this to the gallery um do you know what i will upload it to the gallery just in case just in case anyone wants it you can find my profile on the gallery at olrond o-h-e-l-r-o-n-d i put i'm starting to put more bills on there now that i'm happy with my builds 
and I think maybe next time I'm just gonna do a mansion shell because they're so fun anyway I hope you're all doing well and have a great day thank you for watching